My name is Melina Kelson. I'm an instructor at Kendall College and a certified master baker. Today I'm going to show you how to make cannelée. This unusual uh, formula uses both beeswax and honey in it to give it its traditional flavor as well as a scent of vanilla. I love cannelée. This uh, classic dessert's very easy to put together. Uh, it can, it's essentially crepe batter that we're making here, or clafouti batter, and it's baked in a particular mold that's lined with beeswax. Its characteristic flavor comes from the honey that's being used. I'm gonna begin by taking my liquid ingredients and combining them. So I have eggs, orange blossom honey, although I could use any of a variety of honeys. The selection of honey that I choose will uh, distinctly flavor this, so I want to make sure that I'm making an appropriate choice. Any uh, amber colored or lighter colored honey would be a good choice, such as wildflower honey, orange blossom honey, eucalyptus honey, clover honey, lots of choices. I'm going to flavor it with a little bit of rum. And I have melted butter. I'll whisk these together. And to this mixture, I'm gonna add some milk that's been infused with a vanilla bean. I allowed it to sit overnight so it could really take on that flavor. The honey in the formula really brings out that uh, warming flavors of the vanilla bean. And then I'm gonna sift together my confectioner's sugar and my flour. It's a very small amount of flour in relation to the amount of liquid that's in here, and that lends to the creamy interior that we'll get in our finished product. I'll take my sifted ingredients. I'll drop them in the bowl. I'm gonna make a well and then I'll whisk my liquid ingredients into the dry ingredients. I'm stirring to combine, not to incorporate air, so I don't want to be too vigorous with the whisking. Make sure I have all of this liquid ingredient. It's a very forgiving batter. I can even make it in a blender and it works beautifully. I'm going to take this mixture now and I'm going to strain it through a chinois. And I'll allow this mixture to chill overnight. 